Cottage Grove is the covered bridge capital of Oregon. There are seven historic bridges, six covered and one swinging bridge in and around Cottage Grove. Those bridges draw plenty of tourists. One of the oldest and newest to be refurbished is the old Chambers Railroad Bridge. We talked with city manager Richard Myers about the project. It all began back in 1925 when it was built um, as a part of the Chambers Mill that was located over here. Um, this was a way to get the, the lumber in from the Lorraine Valley and bring the, the logs into the mill. Um, the bridge was built then and used for just a few years until the mill burned down and then it burned down again and it left, um, the bridge left standing here in the 1940s and 50s until 2010 when we finally tore it down. We applied for a grant through the National Historic Covered Bridge Preservation Program and received a $1.4 million grant from that. Um, we got extra money from the ARA money, the um, America Reinvestment and Recovery Act money, as well as citizens in the community rounded up their water bills for a number of years just to put extra money in for matching some of those grants. Piece by piece they took it down, they marked each piece, uh, took each piece down stored it in the, the bridge uh, in the, the facility in Cresswell, went through each of those pieces to determine if it was a good piece, could it be reused, how could it be rebuilt, um, use those pieces to measure to see uh, what, how the new bridge would be put back together so that they made sure they understood, because we don't have the plans for the bridge, um, and, but they do have the, uh, those measurements. We had a 3D model made of the bridge where a surveyor came in and used his laser stuff to measure everything in the bridge as it was existing so that they could get a, a really good picture of how everything pieced together so that they could then construct the plans of how to build the bridge and put it back the way it was. They built the bridge on this side of the river instead of building it over the river because um, it just made it a lot safer and easier to build the bridge on land. Uh, they constructed it on land here um, on steel rails and then slid it across when it was complete. It was an amazing thing to watch them build the building and build this structure on this side of the bridge um, on the ground here and then and move it. Moving it was, was a feat and was, was quite exciting. Um, to watch it inch forward a, a foot or two feet at a time and then they'd reset everything and move it again and, and monitoring that with um, all kinds of uh, measurement devices to make sure that it wasn't tipping or turning or twisting in any way to damage the bridge. And about 30% of the uh, wood is um, original and all of the metal work inside the bridge is original. All the, the bracing and tie rods and, and cast iron pieces are all original. Um, and so we tried to save as much as we possibly could. Some of the old timbers and um, uh, truss pieces were remilled and made as the railing inside or the decking inside. So we used as much of the old wood as we, as we possibly could to put back into the bridge. Maybe not in its original same use, but as a, a different use inside the bridge. The bridge represented a part of our history and, and the heritage of, of a timber town and logging as well as covered bridges. Um, the, the other piece is that hey, it was the only remaining covered railroad bridge left in Oregon as well as the only one left west of the Mississippi. Um, there were only eight covered railroad bridges left in the country and this was a, a big piece of history and we wanted to save it. Cottage Grove has these great little maps of the covered bridges and actually you can pick them up at the Chamber of Commerce and inside is a self-guided tour of all the covered bridges in the area. In keeping with the preservation of history in Cottage Grove, one project that's getting a lot of attention and going to take a lot of work is the old armory building.